the Great Lakes are warming. Warmer lake water means more moisture, less ice, and heavier bursts of lake effect snow. Lake effect snow is a product of cold air masses coming over relatively warm lakes. And what happens then is that you inject warmth, which creates instability, and also moisture into the air as that cold air mass comes across the lake. That gives rise to clouds and precipitation, and we get these narrow bands that develop uh, coming off of the lakes and, and oftentimes are prolific snowmakers. It's a full on snow globe here in Erie, Pennsylvania, and we have had the lake effect event, which has been on steadily since pre-dawn this morning. It hasn't even been a full 24 hours yet, and we've already picked up 25 plus inches on a couple spots. Lakes Michigan, Huron, Erie, and Ontario all ran several degrees above average this season, a sign of a warming climate that's supercharging lake effect snow. Because of climate change, we are actually going to see more snowfall in the Great Lakes region, maybe not overall, but in these bursts. Eventually, rising air temperatures could tip the balance, turning that snow into rain. You're already seeing a change in the runoff in this region. Um, you're seeing rain on snow events. You're seeing the snow pack not lasting as long. And this is leading to more times in the winter that I would say are sodden. You know, the ground is just soaked. According to NOAA, all five Great Lakes were around four to five and a half degrees Fahrenheit warmer than their long-term average for the last three decades. It is kind of an early warning that we may be in for some lake effect snow trouble with the warming temperatures. It's a meteorological tug of war. Warmer lake water supercharging snow on one side, warmer air turning it to rain on the other. Certainly you see a lot of variation from year to year, and in any given year you can have these really incredible lake effect events. But what we think is going to happen is that the risk for lake effect snow is going to carry deeper and deeper into the season, as generally the lakes are not freezing over as quickly as they have in the past. A changing climate means locals must adjust to new weather realities. The biggest single problem local communities are facing in the region, however, are, are extreme rainstorms and, and urban flood, and things like that, um, which again, the lakes also have, a, have an effect on because they're a big supplier of moisture. For now, lake effect snow remains one of winter's most dramatic displays, but its future, much like the weather itself, is anything but certain.